I, today I'm going to continue reading volume three of Stories in the Red Rat and the Red Rat. The Red Rat and the Giant Rat of Africa. The Red Rat runs into the house. Today we learned about Magawa, the Giant Rat of Africa, he tells the hen. Magawa lives in Cambodia. There are bombs called landmines under the ground in Cambodia. If someone walks over a landmine, it explodes. Magawa sniffs out the bombs with his expert nose. The wharf rat told everyone that his dad sniffs out bombs too. Hmm, says the hen. Then the chinchilla yelled at the wharf rat. Liar, liar, pants on fire, hanging from a telephone wire. Then the wharf rat said, I know you are, but what am I? Then the chinchilla said, I'm rubber, you're glue. Everything you say bounces off me and sticks to you. Then the wharf rat said, Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Then the chinchilla said, I see London, I see France, I see the wharf rat's underpants. Then the wharf rat started crying. The hen says, Sticks and stones hurt bodies, but words hurt feelings. Feelings can hurt worse than bodies. When I grow up, I will be a hero like Magawa, the rat says. Everyone will admire me. My feelings will never get hurt. That is a fine plan, says the hen. This story is about sportsmanship. The red rat wins. The red rat and the kangaroo rat are playing catch. The red rat throws the ball hard. The kangaroo rat misses the ball. You missed, ha ha, yells the red rat. He throws again. The kangaroo rat misses again. You missed again, the red rat yells. I am the big winner, you are the big loser. The kangaroo rat sits down. It is not fun to play with you, he says. You gloat and you showboat. You're not a good sport. I can be a good sport, says the red rat. We can play again. I will lose on purpose so you can win. Winning is not the point, says the kangaroo rat. What is the point? asks the red rat. The point is to play, says the kangaroo rat. We play our best and lose or win. We say good game and play again. Good game, says the red rat. Let's play again. Let's play again and again. This story is about reading a book. The red rat reads a book. The red rat and the red hen are reading. The big book of rodents, reads the hen. The red rat feels squirmy. He squirms and squirms. He squirms so hard that he falls over. Please sit still, says the hen. Look at this picture of a capybara, the hen says. The red rat feels itchy. He scratches his foot. He scratches his nose. He scratches his tummy so hard that he falls over. Please sit up, says the hen. The capybara is the biggest rodent on earth, reads the hen. The red rat feels sleepy. He yawns. He closes his eyes and pretends snores. He pretends snores so hard that he falls off the couch. The capybara is even bigger than the giant rat of Sumatra, reads the hen. The red rat looks up. No, it isn't, he says. We should not read this book. We should read the big book of the giant rat of Sumatra. That book does not exist, says the hen. I will write it, says the rat. That is a good idea, says the hen. The rat writes, The story of the giant rat of Sumatra has not been told. He is strong and good and bold. He is bigger than a capybara. He wears a cape and a tiara. What do you think a tiara is, the hen asks. A tiara is a hat for a grown-up man, says the rat. That is a fedora, says the hen. A tiara is a crown for a princess. Tiara, fedora, whatever, yells the rat. You need to take a nap, says the hen. The red rat takes a nap. He dreams that he is visited by the giant rat of Sumatra. Around the crown of the giant rat's fedora is a band of sparkly gems. My tiara is missing one gem, says the giant rat of Sumatra. It is missing the queen's gem. I need the queen's gem to restore the magic of the tiara. Then it will be strong again. The queen's gem is in my den, says the rat. He digs around in his pile and pulls it out. 
Goodbye, Queen's Gem, he says. I will miss you. The Queen's Gem fits perfectly into the tiara. The tiara begins to sparkle like crazy. The magic of the tiara has been restored, says the giant rat of Sumatra. Thank you, red rat. I will never forget you. Ha ha, thinks the red rat. The giant rat of Sumatra has a fedora and a tiara. When the red rat wakes up, he looks for the queen's gem. He can't find it. He feels sad and glad at the same time. The end. See you later, alligator. All these stories, as you read them to your student, require conversation about what the stories are about and what they mean. They all have little messages, and it's a good thing for their child's comprehension to go into what those are. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.